Entertainment Plus TV, yours truly, Jati, they call me the Reggae Ambassador. And we are inside, we're here with Bobby Stewart. You, you know the name, Stewart Family. And we got to really say big up to Bobby for bringing an event like this to Port Antonio. I think Port Antonio fit this Marlin tournament. Bobby, just tell us about the name of the event and why you, you thought of bringing it right here to Port Antonio. You got it. Evening, everybody, or morning. Um, number one. This new marina was built 12 years ago, opened 12 years ago, christened, and in that whole time, even though Port Antonio has this fabulous name for fishing, right? There's wonderful fishing here. Everybody knows it, from the locals that fish to the people that come here to fish, right? You've got banks, you've got reef, you've got good water. It's always got a better mix of water here than some other parts of the island. And yet nobody did a tournament here at the Errol Flynn Marina. And the anglers locally in Jamaica have been begging for a tournament to be held here at this marina. And we finally said, you know what? A few people came to me and said, Bobby, we really want to see an event like Moby in Port Antonio, where we can have some fun, we can bring the friends, bring some family, but it be in a good facility. That's a, a really nice environment. I mean, you look around, we're on the second floor in this bar at the Errol Flynn Marina right now, and we have a lovely bar, we have lighting, we have fans, and we can look out, and I don't know if the camera can see here, but you see all these boats going all the way down the dock over there, right? This is what a tournament is about, right? So we said, let's do it. So this is the first year. We didn't go for numbers because I wasn't sure how many boats the dock could fit and I didn't push it. But we have ended up with space for another 15 or 20 boats that we could still have put on the dock. The dock is only half full. I think the number one takeaway is that we want to not only make it enjoyable for the people that participate, the boats that come in from Kingston or Moby, or we have some Haitians fishing, we have a group of seven that flew in from Haiti to fish on a boat here, uh, we have people from Cayman that came in to fish, uh, we have people from Canada that came in from fish, from the USA that came in to fish. It's not just about them. We wanted to do something for everybody locally as well. So That's the key. that is the key, right? If you do something like this and it doesn't create any benefit for everybody here, then, then who's going to support you, right? So among other things, on Friday night after the prize giving, the award ceremony, we are bringing, we have setting up a stage in that grassy area outside the entrance. And we're inviting everybody locally to come and see Conscience in Concert, right? We're bringing in Conscience, we can't print it and promote it, but at the end of the day, everybody can come in and enjoy that as part of the tournament. So everybody from the boats is going to come out there and mix with everybody here, and everybody's going to love it. You know, you know what I like about this? It seems like it's a down-to-earth thing. Normally, when you have things like this going on, it's just things that disconnect between yeah. the people who are doing it yeah. and the locals. 
and I'm glad that you're doing that. Yeah, you man. saw the need for that. Yeah, man. And we're looking forward to great things. And trust me, man, this is a very, very good thing you're doing for us. And so we, we, on this end, are going to do whatever we can to help you. And vice versa. Vice versa. Vice versa. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, we're looking for people like you to come in and yeah, put into a need of bush, a boat. Yeah. And just off base a little bit, what about Dragon Bay? All right, so I'm not involved with the planning, but I have seen the releases that we are going to start working on Dragon Bay. This is like the out of shoe now, right? Um, Sandals Resorts will start working on Dragon Bay this year, and there's a lot of planning going on. There's a lot of work to be done, but it's on the right track now. I think in the past, I think the biggest issue has been when Dragon Bay was purchased, there there's infrastructure needs that couldn't be met to support a bigger operation. So I think some of that is starting to happen now and all the other opportunities that came along during that time, the, the company worked on them, you know? So I think it's Dragon Bay's time now. Hey Bobby, I'm glad you're here, man, because I want, we, we need people like you to help uplift Port Antonio. It's a beautiful place. And it's, it's a beautiful place, right? And people, tend not to want to make it develop but we people need economic benefits and needs yeah. and you doing something like this can only make the people out the road feel a little bit better for themselves eh? yeah, man. this is the first one right so we have a lot to learn right i know we've learned some stuff already we've learned about how how much we can do on the dock we've learned about some operational things here at the marina but there's things that we wanted to do for this one that we would have to apply in advance for licenses and health and safety. You know, we would love to, with the concert, set up some stalls so the local people can sell some pork and the rest of it as well. Um, that will happen. That will happen. With, 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 with some more thinking for the next one, we're going to do better next year even. One of the other things we should mention, apart from the, apart from the concert on Friday after the awards, is on Saturday, we are actually, we have a little thing that we started in Mobe called Tight Lines, which is all of the marlin boats raft up off the beach. In Mobe, we do it off a doctor's cave beach, and we have a big bar in the water, and we do a lot of things just to make everybody have fun. So a lot of people from Mobe will come in from land and be part of the party there. The boats will come in and they anchor off and they swim into the bar. So we're gonna do something similar here. So it's the first tight lines porty, beach porty. Uh, <laughs> so so we, have, we have some boats that will anchor up off the beach. We have Kez the band. I don't know if you're soccer fans, right? There's a lot of people driving it from Kingston because they heard that we've hired Kez the band from Trinidad to fly in and entertain everybody. Um, we're looking forward to seeing how it works. We just want everybody to get a chance to touch it. And it's, it's going to explode. Yeah, man. <laughs> Bobby, no love. Again, again, respect, yeah? Dem style, Dem style. Dem style. Dem style.
of Pole and Tony International Fishing Tournament here at the, um, the marina, the new marina for the Tony. Guys, welcome yeah. to Jamaica. Yes, Bye bye guy, bye guy. Yeah, you're going to catch a big one today, right? Yes, yes. yes. The big one. So yes. what, what are you expecting today for the first time? I mean, first of all, you, you love, you must love this tournament. We love Jamaica. We've been here several times, Paul Antonio, so we always fish, so it should be a good time. And then we'll, uh, we'll hopefully get some Dorado and Make sure there's some big, some big, uh, you know, big fish. All right. So you're, going, you're going to win the tournament. Oh, yeah, man, we're going to win it. All right. So keep, keep, keep the right. fit. All right. All right. The, I want to see that big one, right? Yeah. yeah no, we're come back. We're come back. Enjoy the superstars of uh, international uh, fishing tournament. We're here with beautiful Regina. Regina, she's going out to catch a big one today. You know what I mean? Regina, is the first time in 2020? Oh, no, not the first time. Okay, but you're here today specifically for the International okay. Superstars of Port Antonio Fishing Tournament, right? Course. Tell me what you're going to do today. We're going to go out for eight hours fishing and we hope that we catch either the biggest marlin or we tag and release many of them. Okay, all right. Looking forward to seeing. So, so, so what do you expect for the rest of the week? Well, I hope um, the sea is not going to be so rough like people expect and we hope for many marlins. This is got this got to be the be most beautiful spot in Jamaica. It eh? is definitely. for something like this for international it is. tournament. Well, Port Antonio is the most beautiful spot in Jamaica. I really think so. We have to big up Mr. Bobby Stewart for putting yes, this together. Yeah, definitely. Right. We thank him a lot. Okay. And we're gonna have a great time. No luck, yeah. Okay. Touch it up, yeah. Good. <laughs> Are you superstars of Port Antonio International? Um, Tournament, fishing tournament, right? And here are the superstars. They're going to take the trophy home. Introduce yourself, then. I'm uh, Paulette Hossman. And I'm Shakima Hines. And you're here to probably be the first Port Antonio superstars of fishing, right? Right in Port Antonio, right? Tell us what's going to happen today. Well, we intend to win and catch the big one. That's what's going to happen today. Yo, but <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, we're a part of Team Keeping It Jiggy and we're, we're avid fishers. Um, I know that it's a, a sport that has been predominantly dominated by men, so we just wanted to show that we women can do it too. You just want to cheer up a thing yes. and just keep it jiggy. Exactly. <laughs> well, nice talking to you guys. Okay. Thank you. All right. Superstars of international, uh, the international fishing tournament right here in Poland Tony Pier. And we, I don't even need, this man don't need any introduction. He's on the pier. Welcome to Poland Tony, my brother. Welcome to Poland Tony, Mel. What's up? It's good to be here, you know. I'm just hoping to go there and catch something. I've been trying. Something? Been I'm here. all in. I'm all in. <laughs> <laughs> I've been trying from last year, but I haven't caught anything yet. So, hope um, this turn will be mine. So, which boat are you going out on? Definitely safe passage. You know, um, we have to come back from, from behind last half in Mobe. And so, we're trying to win this one. Well, well, uh, much for school. <laughs> <laughs> you're not gonna run. You're not gonna run down there. No, I'm not. I'm, I'm not gonna run down the morning because I can't see any water top boat. I'll definitely try and catch one. <laughs> Errol Flynn Marina with Mr. Bobby Schwitz is organizer for the international, for the superstar international fishing tournament, right? Bobby, it's the first thing. It's the first tournament. How do you feel this morning? Very good. Yeah, very good. Looking at the yeah, outlay, looking looking very good. Looking okay, beautiful. And we'll see these two big boats are alongside because we had so much space left on the dock. All the boats down there and the dock wasn't even full, not even half full. So all of this side, you can actually fit 15, 20 more boats. So by putting the first one out of the way and getting everybody here and seeing what a nice dock it is, Next one, if we go fill up, I mean, everybody's every, gonna come. Everybody's so ecstatic about what's happening here today. Yeah. I mean, you're, you're enthused. I mean, this is so, so, so great. Yeah, Once again, you know what I mean? Good start. Good start. So, the first day going out, so we expect a lot of things. Yeah, man. Yeah? And fish. Fish. I want to see fish come back. <laughs> All right, buddy. Thank you. Good yeah. job for the tournament Thank here. You. All right, peace. Yeah.
some more. Them style, style, style. style.